2 0 down from the first leg, playing a team who have just won the Bundesliga and are 43 games unbeaten this season. Do we have any hope in the second leg against Bayer Leverkusen on Thursday? Maybe a smidgen. I think we've got a smidgen of hope. It is just only a little bit, but you know, there is a little bit of hope. Look, I, I do recognise reality. I do recognise the fact that we are very unlikely to get anything from this game, let alone uh, qualify for the semi finals. I, I do recognise the fact that by Leverkusen are unbeaten this season, they are a fantastic team. I do recognise the fact that we are missing some key players in Pakatar. Emerson could be missing Bowen and Mavropanos and Ariola as well, while we could be missing those big players. And I do recognise the fact that the odds are massively stacked in the favour of Bayer Leverkusen. But none of that means, none of that means that we can't have a little bit of hope and that we cannot cause an upset. Because on the night, anything could happen. Anything could happen. It, it, it could. You know, Bayer Leverkusen, they, they may not turn up. Not literally, like mentally. They, they could have an off game. Uh, they could get uh, an early setting off, maybe. Maybe we get an early goal, and that really puts things, you know, uh, in our favour. Maybe the crowd are amazing, and that really motivates the team to put in the best performance of their life. Like right? these things could happen. I know they're unlikely to happen, but they could. That's my point. It's not all loss at the moment. I know that we are in a very difficult position, but there's just it, there, there is just this this hope that we can do something, and no one believes we can. But it's not the first time that no one has believed that we could do something. We Two years ago against Seville, no one believed that we would come back from that. And we did. No one believed that we would go to the Emirates this season and pick up a 2-0 win. No one believed that we would go to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium this season and pick up a 2-1 win. No one believed that we didn't even believe that we could go to Brighton and pick up a 3-1 win this season, did we? We didn't. But we did. Uh, you know, those tests are, are nothing compared to this one. They're not. But it's just examples of where people have given us no hope. And we've proved them wrong. And we could, we could prove everyone wrong again on Thursday night. Will we? Probably not. But I'm just saying, it, it could happen. So whether we win, lose, or draw, whatever ends up happening, there's, there's, there's one thing, there is one thing that I want to see from that team on Thursday night. And that is a much better, much better performance than the one we saw on Sunday against Fulham. I want to see a performance that has fight, that has passion, that has desire, that has everything. They, I want to see those players give everything they have from the very first minute to the very last. Because this could end up being like the, the last European game we play at the London Stadium for, uh, for a while. I hope it isn't. I really hope it isn't, but it could be. So if it is, I want it to be a night that we can all remember. I, I, I don't want to remember a performance that was very lacklustre. That, that make it look like we just threw in the towel and that we just we just folded. I don't I don't I don't want to see that. I want to be able to look back at this game and say, yeah, okay, fair enough. We went out of the competition, but you know what? We we gave it our best. We gave it everything that night. We put in an incredible performance, and we were unlucky to go out. That's that's ha that's how I want to see it. That's how I want to remember this game. So yeah, if the players put in that kind of performance, that kind of performance so they can get the crowd behind the team for the whole game and that gives us a little bit of hope I, I will come away from that game happy i will even if we go out if, if we put in a great performance that, that that says that we tried that we gave everything we, we we could possibly give i'll still be disappointed that we went out but at least we would have that to look back on and remember now i i, I covered all the stats in in the first preview, which, you know, you can go back and watch if you want, you know, that they haven't, they've only ever won one game in England, in Europe before. Uh, that was against Tottenham in 2016. Um, you know, we are pretty much unbeaten in the London Stadium since our loss, loss against Frankfurt a couple of years ago. So we got a great record at the London Stadium. You know, we could go for all those stats. We, we could, we, we, we could hope that they have a little bit of a hangover, but ultimately, like, none of that really matters. It doesn't. It, it just doesn't, because on the night, anything could happen. It, it just could. It just could. I mean, you just have to look at the weekend, right? 
Fulham had not won uh, away from home to us since 2004. They hadn't beaten us at home since 2004. And then that happened at the weekend. And then that is just another example that something could happen. Like, that anything could happen on the day. Atalanta beating Liverpool at Anfield last week. No one expected that. It happened. Some of the results of the weekend. Who expected Crystal Palace to get a result against Liverpool? Who expected Aston Villa to win 2 0 at the Emirates? Like, no, no one saw those coming. We're not surprised that they happened, but, you know, it's just examples that on the day, anything could happen. So, if we are going to pull off this miracle, what team is going to do it? Well, we've already spoke about some of the players that are definitely not available with Emerson and Bakhtar. We said they are question marks over Mavropanos and Ariola and Bowen. Ariola probably won't play anyway. Fabian's gears our cup keeper. Mavropanos did limp off against Fulham uh, at the weekend, so we do not know his condition at the moment. And apparently there is an outside chance that Bowen could play. I'm going to put that chance at about 10% at the moment. I not sure if it's likely or not. I don't know if Moyes is playing a little game, keeping it very close to his chest. And then on Thursday, we just see him in the starting lineup as a surprise. Like we, we did not expect to see him there. And then suddenly he's there. I don't know if that will happen or not, or he will say, yeah, he's going to play or no, he's definitely not going to play. I, I, don't, I don't know. So there's an outside chance he could play at the moment. So we're on the side of caution and uh, we'll probably go with something like this. Um, and it, it doesn't look brilliant up top, does it? It doesn't. Now, of course, at the back, Creswell is probably going to come in for Emerson. Um, it could be a Gwed, could be Mavropanos. I'll put a Gwed in there at the moment. I hope it isn't. Um, you've got Zuma next to him, and then so far right back. Uh, I think he might utilise Johnson a little bit further forward, probably in this game, if we don't have Bowen available, because Alvarez will be sitting there. Socek could come back in, Will Prowse will come back in. Of course, you'll have Kudus, you'll have Antonio, and yeah, it could be Johnson. Or maybe it could be Corne. It's not going to be Corne. It's probably going to be Johnson, let's be honest there. Um, there, there, there could be an option. I may mean, even chance Mubama. Probably won't, but I, I don't know. Without Bowen, it doesn't look fantastic. With Bowen, it does, a, it does look a little bit more promising. It does. But um, as I say, there, there is just no guarantee that he's going to be available at this point. So, yeah, this could be the team that faces Bayer Leverkusen, or this could be. We'll have to wait and see. Now, of course, Bayer Leverkusen did win the Bundesliga over the weekend. So, so maybe there will be a little bit of a hangover from the celebrations of that. They could be. They, they could go into this game with a little bit of a, a mentality that they've already got this done and dusted. I don't think they will. I don't think uh, Alonso will allow his players to have uh, that mentality. But it, it is possible. Um, I do expect them to put out a similar team to, to what they put out last week. But um, maybe he wants to you know, change it up a little bit, give some other players a chance. He's got no reason to rest any players at this point. So, yeah, he, he could pretty much put out a full-strength team if he wants, or maybe he could put out a team that is a little bit weaker that maybe we could take advantage of. But I, I really do doubt that he will do that. Oh so, yeah, I'm not expecting any favours from Bayer Leverkusen on Thursday night, whether it be the team selection or maybe them having a little bit of a hangover because of their Bundesliga win at the weekend. I'm not expecting it, but it, it would be nice, wouldn't it? And it is technically possible, but yeah, I doubt it will happen. So if we want to win this game, we are going to have to put in the performance of our lives. We really are. They're going to have to fight for every ball. They're going to have to be on it from the very first minute to the very last minute. It's going to be really difficult. I do believe that we can score in this game, and I reckon we could score a couple. My main concern is not conceded a couple, and that is that 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 is that is our weakness. He's conceding goals this season because we have been terrible defensively, absolutely terrible. So yeah, I do believe we will score some goals. I do believe that we will fight, and we will give it a good go. But yeah, I do expect us to go out. I I, I just want to see a, a brilliant performance. That's that's all I want to see. I want to see a team who cares and. Is going to give everything to to try and cause that upset. That's what I want to see. And us fans, we need to do our part too. We 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 need to we need to be a full voice. We need to give our full support to that team on the pitch to really help them as much as we possibly can. To really try and be that twelfth man that they will definitely need on Thursday night. So even though I know that the uh, odds are not stacked in our favour. And it's going to be hard enough for us to even pick up a result in this game, let alone a result that's going to get us through to those semi-finals. I'm still going to believe, still going to believe that a miracle can happen.
thank you very much for watching. I really hope that we see a much better performance than the one we saw against Fulham uh, on, on Sunday. And yeah, I do think it's possible. Let me know your thoughts in the comments as per usual. And if you've liked this video, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Come on, you irons.